Hello everyone, Sam here, here to talk to you about these rapid and distress calls. Sorry if I'm really, really quiet, but I'm trying to call some coyotes right now. And I know that right now is not the best time for coyote calling. It's really, really hot outside. It is October the 8th, I believe, here in Central, South Texas. And it's hot and humid. And it's what four in the afternoon but i was coming down to south texas to feed the feeders anyways so i decided to uh, see what i find out here um i seen a few as i was driving in so i know they're out here uh but the one that i got closest to was laying down so i'm you know i'm sure they're trying to stay out of the heat anyways so i'm new to these never used them before uh and so far, I, this one's a Primo's Still Cottontail Rabbit. And the other one's a Night in Hell. Again, these were on sale in the Academy. That's the only reason I bought them. Because they were $10, $12 a piece. Um, anyways, uh, I've used both of them. Well, I just started using them. I haven't seen anything. But what I have noticed is this one sounds a little more like a squeaky toy. Versus. So, if you ask me, I would go with this one. This sounds a whole lot more realistic. Uh, again, it sounds kind of like a squeaky toy. But I'm new to these, uh, coyote calling in general. So, I have no idea what's going to work and what's not. Uh, but either way, I'd go with Night and Hell if you see this at the Academy or anywhere else. And of course, I brought out the uh, Sons of Liberty with the uh, Nikon P223. So hopefully we get some action. <sighs> tired of tired of sitting here. It's hot, but the sun's going down. Well, it's gonna go down here pretty soon. So hopefully, hopefully we get some. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully, I get some. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm no expert. I'm actually very inexperienced when it comes to coyote calling uh, but from my understanding there's really no right or wrong way of doing it uh, you just gotta try to sound like a rabbit in distress so let's give it a shot I don't know, but if you ask me, that sounded pretty important. If I was an animal, I'd go check it out. Heck, even I feel like going and checking it out. That sounded really real. Just Anyhow, uh, we'll see what we get. Uh, that's my view. Well, just so I could continue the video on that call, night and hail, I believe. That's the only thing I've been using. Uh, there's really thick grass. It's usually not this high. But anyways, uh, where that second or third post is at, right about the middle, see my blind is right here. Uh, something popped out and kind of caught me off guard because there was something moving way down there by the feeder. And uh, what do you know? It was a bobcat. 